<laughs> What's happening in Anoka? I'm Jacob. And I'm Madeline. Today is Tuesday, October 30th. Tomorrow is Halloween. This Friday is opening night. That's right. The Anoka Theatre Department is proud to present the Comedy of Errors by William Shakespeare. You can get your tickets right now or at the door. The show runs November 2nd through the 4th and November 8th through the 10th. Tickets are $8.50 for students and that price is cut in half for the Thursday, November 8th show. Don't miss out on your opportunity to see live theater at Anoka. The next speech meeting will be tonight after school in the LARC, where we, be, where we will be signing up for categories and going through the procedure of registering with the activities office. Plan on about 15 minutes. Students already planning on joining the team can join their mind by texting 81010 at Anoka Suits. Any questions, please see Coach Anderson in room L137. Spectrum will be having a Halloween gathering tonight. We will be giving out Halloween bingo and giving out prizes. Spectrum is a club for LGBT students and allies. All are welcome. Knowledge Bowl will be holding their first practice on November 1st. The practice is open to anyone who loves the world of competitive trivia. The practice will take place in M218 from 2.30 to 4.40. They hope to see you there. DECA is looking for your help to scare hunger. You can support this cause by bringing in non-perishable food items to room B214 on November 1st. All food collected will be donated to our Anoka Food Shelf, as well as the local ACBC Food Shelf in Anoka. We thank you in advance for your support of this cause. This is an announcement for all Art Club members. Tonight is Tie-Dye Day. Please bring your own item to Tie-Dye. Come in and join the fun. It's time to take a look at the weather forecast, sponsored by all the cavities and stomach aches to come. With that, here's Hannah. Thanks, Jacob. The forecast looks alright to start the week, as today we should see sunshine and a high of 52. Temps will stay in the 40s overnight tonight and give way to partly sunny skies and a high of 53 tomorrow. Looking ahead to the trick-or-treat forecast, which none of us should be doing to be clear, with lows in the upper 30s. That's your weather. I'm Hannah. Back to you, Maddie. Thanks, Hannah. It's now time to check in with Marissa with the 60 Second Book Talk. Hello again and welcome back to 60 Second Book Talk. The first book I'll be reviewing today is called Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. This book is told from two different perspectives, a girl named Libby and a boy named Jack. Both have individual problems, Libby being named America's Fattest Teen and Jack having a rare disorder where he can't recognize faces. Although their storylines don't seem to have much intersection, the author combined these two perspectives beautifully and effortlessly to create a thought-provoking and heartfelt story of finding your true self and letting yourself be happy. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars for this reason and for the accurately portrayed characters. I'm going to wrap up this week with a book called Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. It follows the story of a girl named Charlie who, after she tried to kill herself, must recover with almost no support system and no plans for a future. I absolutely adored this book because it was written as a crossbreed between prose and paragraph form. It also painted depression in such a way that it wasn't being romanticized but also was rather non-triggering to the reader. For how beautiful it was and how well the plot constantly grabbed your attention, I give this book Book, a 4 out of 5 stars as well. I recommend both these books to anyone looking for a story of someone finding their own truths and learning how to live their own lives to the best of their capabilities. I'm Marissa and I'll see you next week for another 60 second book talk. Thanks Marissa. The Anoka Twisters dance team is selling a limited quantity of Tornado Love Your Melon hats. They are maroon with a white pom pom on top and a white and silver embroidery with a tornado. They're super cute and would make a great Christmas gift. They're $48 and we do only have a limited quantity. Orders can be made using our order form or PayPal link. The PayPal link can be found through the website on the Facebook page or uh, nokadance.weebly.com. It's time to look at sports and activities. And with that, here's Carly. Thanks, Maddie. The Anoka Boys Swimming and Diving Team is holding an informational meeting this Thursday at the Fred Moore Auditorium at 6.30 p.m. about our upcoming season. Coach Jacobson doesn't cut, and he's looking forward to the season. Current members should be out recruiting new members, and we hope to see everyone there. Attention boys basketball prospects. There will be a short informational meeting on Thursday at 2.30 p.m. in Mr. Bolian's classroom, G174. If you like basketball and competition, 
Join us. Any questions, please see Mr. Wall in the boys' PE office. All girls interested in playing softball this spring should attend the meeting at 3 p.m. in S106. We will be going over some preseason info, fundraising plans, and game and tournament schedules. If you're not, unable to make the meeting or have any questions, get in contact with Coach Jessinoski. Winter sports are a few weeks away, which means winter is only a few weeks away. We'll be sure to update you on the details. That's your look at the worldwide of sports and activities. I'm Maddie. Back to you, Jacob. And I'm not Maddie, I'm Carly. Thanks. If you miss anything during the newscast or you are absent for a day, remember you can find us at the Anoka TV News Channel on YouTube for er or for early lunch updates, follow our Twitter at Anoka TV News and be a part of the Twitter poll as whether you prefer Jacob or Bocage on Anoka TV 7 Blues. Before we go, it's time for the fun fact of the day. Did you know that in the 18th century, it was considered beautiful to be pale, complete with pale skin and the use of lead-based powders that ate away at their skin? I always said I've been born in the wrong time. Today's lunch is General Sow Chicken. That's the news. I'm Madeline. And I'm not Madeline. Stay creepy, Anoka.